suited up with helmets on, a group of college students make their way onto the surface of Mars. Well, not exactly. This is the southern Utah desert. But for the nonprofit Mars Society, it's about as close as they can get to simulating life on the red planet. Really what we're trying to do is not train individuals, we're trying to write the field manual. The group's mission is to raise awareness and advocate human exploration of Mars. Everybody says we should practice before we go to Mars, but some people say we need to practice on the moon. Well, you could practice on the moon, but you can do it at one ten thousandth the cost in the desert in Utah. NASA's goal is to send astronauts to Mars by the 2030s aboard its newest spacecraft, Orion. Something scientist Jim Bell sees, in part, as an insurance policy for the human race. There have been mass extinctions throughout the history of, of our planet. And if we're, all of our eggs are in this one basket as a species, this one beautiful Earth basket, then we are taking a chance on some kind of mass extinction. We're at altitude of one kilometer descending. NASA already has two robotic rovers on Mars, the latest Curiosity, which landed in 2012. The more we learn, the, the more we increase our chances of adapting and surviving as things change on our own planet. Out in the Utah desert, these Belgian students are wrapping up their two-week mission. What we are doing here will be useful in the future for uh, a possible uh, mission to Mars and for the astronauts. An opportunity to play a small role in a big journey ahead. Brian Skoloff, Associated Press.